welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another DC Multiverse video, and today comes courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys, we have an early look at the final figure for the Target year-long collect build wave, Wonder Woman, of course, stemming from the Flashpoint universe, I know we've all been clamoring for that classic Wonder Woman. Figure number four to collect old Cyborg here, and as I said, yes, this is the Flashpoint universe's Wonder Woman, the general Wonder Woman, leader of the Amazons, yada yada. And you can see all the figures and everything needed to build Cyborg. The year-long wave has been interesting, to say the least. And here's the barcode when she starts to hit store shelves. So, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is an early look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the gold label Target Store year-long exclusive wave Flashpoint Wonder Woman. And while I got all you company-wide rebranders here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my DC Multiverse videos. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. We got old toys, new toys, daily news updates... Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Look at all those figures right there, right? Well, let's take a better look and we'll do the whole complete wave, right? Because I've really only looked at the Flash this year well, because it's really been the most lackluster wave, to be quite honest with you. In fact, Aquaman and Superman, they were grabbed on heavy clearance. This Aquaman... I like the oranges, I like the blacks, I like the costume, I like the tridents. There is nothing special here in terms of the articulation. You got a little bit of weapon storage and whatnot, which is nice to see. But that head portrait is not doing anyone favors. It's kind of early Toy Biz Marvel Legends-ish, right? But that to me would be, if anything, an alternate head portrait. You'd have the standard Aquaman and then you'd have this yelling head because it really doesn't add anything to your collection and like i said it's a reuse of the body i like the little nods the paint everything on it looks good in that sense but that head portrait really knocks this figure down and like i said got it on heavy clearance because i just did not see these a selling it was just not a great start to the year-long wave and then continuing on for figure number two we have the superman project superman now i get it when you look at the artwork you'd have to have a completely different body type right he's very gaunt he's almost jack skellington thin right they reused that teen buck body which okay well well, uh, okay, that's not too bad. The head portrait and everything kind of sort of works. The heavy reuse kind of sort of works. But it's really that symbol on his chest, the hands. Like, everything proportionate-wise is a little bit off. And then that really breaks up a lot, too. It's just weird. The choices on this one were weird overall. Head portrait aside, yeah, it's not bad. It's a lot better than the Aquaman's, but still, this is a very boring figure. It doesn't come with any accessories, nothing like that, even though, I mean, what would you give him anyways, accessories-wise? But yeah, it, it maybe a, a laser vision head, right? Extra head portrait. The Flash, by all accounts, including mine, this was the figure of this wave, right? Finally, we got a classic Barry Allen Flash. I love the wings on the boots. This is a great figure. Not only just for the figure itself, but for the accessories. You had the drop back mask. You had an unmasked head portrait. There was a lot of attention to detail here, which I thoroughly enjoy. And overall, it's just a great flash for your DC Multiverse collection. Goes with Superman, Batman, all that, Justice League. It's fantastic. So, hands down, this is the figure to get out of the entire wave. Can't say enough nice things, and I have a video looking at the entire figure if you're interested in checking that out. Now we have the fourth figure, the final figure, which is Wonder Woman from the Flashpoint universe. And this one blows my mind because it's a 100% brand new figure. From the cape to the boots to the mask, the armor, the sword, everything is brand new. And it makes me go like, well, why? <laughs> Not to knock the figure. It's not one of those like, well, who's asking for this? Well, if you're a fan of Flashpoint, or if you're doing a Flashpoint wave, I mean, she's a pretty critical character for that entire storyline. I love the helmet. I love the details. The paint is fantastic on this figure. The chainmail. The W. Even the stars are on the belt. 
they knock this figure out of the park. But then again, it's like, thanks? How about a classic Wonder Woman before we get to the Flashpoint Wonder Woman? So, odd choices across the board. And if you're really going to take this into account, right? This is a brand new figure. You look at this Superman figure and then you go... Maybe a few extra bucks could be thrown into the poor Superman, maybe the Aquaman, just to kind of spruce him up a little bit. Because, yeah, again, all the nicest things to say about this figure. From the head portrait, which the hair will kind of limit the rotation, it'll knock into the shoulder pad. She has double-jointed elbows. The sword accessory is really nice. I really wish that she had some kind of weapon storage. You can kind of slip it into the belt, right? But a sheath would have been nice. She does have... A fair amount of articulation, we'll say she'll spin at the waist more than anything. Not really an ab crunch, we will say. Now, the legs, those will kick out just fine. The big old skirt piece doesn't hinder it. She has single jointed knees, rotate at the knees. I like the boots. I think those look good. That's a nice red. She has peg holes on the bottom of her feet. So again, odd choice for being a brand new, 100% new figure, but... It's a great looking sculpt overall, which brings us to Cyborg. Cyborg is a great Build-A-Figure, I will say. Out of the three years they've done this so far, looks like third time was the charm. The silver on the head is a lot more, we'll say, darker, right, than the rest of the body. It doesn't exactly match. I kind of wish that the body was that color as well. It's largely plastic, but they've put enough wash in there to really break it up. So he's not a huge hunk of grayish plastic. He is single jointed on the big cannon arm. That's another part. I wish they would include an extra arm so you could have cannon arm or you could have regular arm, right? You get some articulation out of that. You have double joints on this side with the more human hand, we'll just say. Now, I've seen people, you can use acetone and remove that C right there. You can have more of that Justice League rebrand, right? When the whole New 52 and all that took shape when he joined the Justice League. Cyborg will always be on the Teen Titans to me. It doesn't fit for me with the whole Justice League jive. He actually has a decent ab crunch. He'll spin at the waist. The whole articulation scheme works really well for this type of figure. He has single jointed knees, which is totally fine. Again, the wash is good enough to break up those solid chunks of the gray plastic, right? The head is pretty good. The head feels a little loose on the ball joint, right? But it's not going to fall off. You're not going to be able to just pop it right off. And you do get a lot of articulation out of it. So for that sense, uh, I do appreciate it. When moving him around, this arm became very loose all of a sudden. Now, I mean, this is the first time putting this together, but it might be something you might encounter. It's just, it's too heavy, right? It's a, it's a total little floppy arm now, which is kind of a disappointment now that I'm looking at it. But overall, it is a booyah of a figure, right? Not to be too corny. I like that you can get his arm up. You can do the whole cannon thing. But again, certain elements, an extra arm, human arm, would have been nice to see. Like I said, this is the third year Target has been doing the year-long collect-to-build waves. The first one was Batman Beyond with the Joker bot, which, interesting execution, lack of paint, lack of enthusiasm for that character, was like, okay, thanks. Second year, of course, being the Starro wave, which I think was a whole heck of a lot better. It's very interesting. But I think they did a great job this time around with the collect build figure, whereas the rest of the wave, minus Flash, was really just blah, right? Now, if you were wondering of the scale, this is a very huge, tall cyborg. And it fits more, again, with the whole Flashpoint universe where he was larger. So for those of you looking for a more in-scale cyborg, he's going to be entirely too big unless you have a Flashpoint setup. And you can see all the characters intermingled right here new characters older characters like the flashpoint thomas wayne which man that was like the last one that we got pretty much before they got rid of the whole guns he and red hood but yeah cyborg is definitely a whole heck of a lot bigger so that's gonna wrap it up for my look at the entirety of the 2023 target year-long collect-to-build wave for the DC Multiverse by McFarlane Toys. And again, thank you to my friends over McFarlane for sending over the final figure to complete said cyborg and give you guys this early look. 
Overall, when you have all the Flashpoint characters that McFarlane has released, when you have them all displayed together, it's not a bad display. But it is kind of sort of that storyline where it doesn't do much outside of a few characters, right? You could have Eobard Thrawn, you got the whole Thomas Wayne situation. Wonder Woman is great, the Flash is great. The rest, yeah, with Cyborg being like, okay, that's... Probably the best year-long collect-to-build figure they've done so far. So you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Flashpoint. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, I'm over Flashpoint. Please be done with Flashpoint. Across the board. Movies, cartoons, comic books, the whole shebang. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.